guys, welcome back to my channel, Michelle Gay Science Teacher. In today's video, we're going to be doing an experiment on density and we're going to create a lava lamp. Yes, I said it, a lava lamp. If you want to do this with me, then you're going to need some materials. You will need some type of clear container it could be a two liter bottle, it could be um, um, a liter bottle, <clears throat> or a jar like I have. But it has to be clear, and it's better if it has smooth sides. You will need Alka-Seltzer, food coloring, water, and some type of oil. I'm just using vegetable oil. If you like these types of videos, science experiments, unboxing, and other videos that I've posted, then click that subscribe button. What are you waiting on? And click the like button so we can have more people join our science community. So, how does a lava lamp work? Well, a lava lamp uses electricity and the bulb begins to heat up the liquid that's in the lava lamp. The lava lamp has, has two different types of liquids and they're close in density, but one of them is slightly heavier. The heavier uh, density liquid begins to expand from the heat and as it expands, it becomes less dense. As it becomes less dense, it begins to float and move around. So we're going to look at density before we create a lava lamp. So to test out density, we're going to use three liquids. Water, and I have food coloring in here, honey, and oil. We're going to slowly pour each type of liquid in. The liquid that's at the bottom has the greatest density and the liquid that flows on the top will have the least amount of density. So let's test this out. Now before I pour, which one do you think has the greater density? All right, so we're going to do the water. And if you do this, uh, it is good to put food coloring in so you can see the different colors. Okay, let's put some honey in. Try to have about the same amount. Let's look. We see that the honey is at the bottom and the water is floating on top. That's because the water is less dense than the honey. The honey is thicker and it's more compact together where the water molecules are much looser. Now, where do you think the oil will land? Will it be less dense than the water or more dense than the water? Or do you think it's more dense than the honey? Let's test it out and see. Did you say that the oil would float on top? If you did, you are correct. Oil is less dense than water. As we see, these three liquids have different types of density. And that explains why sometimes different um, liquids do not mix together, like oil and vinegar do not mix together well, all right? So, now that we understand a little bit more about density, let's get ready and start 
our lava lamps. Are you ready? All right, our first step, you're going to have your jar and we're going to take our water and put in about a fourth of the jar. Okay, I'll add a little bit more. Okay, now we're going to take our oil and pour on top and fill it up to about right here. Now look at that oil and look at that water. Look like it's mixing together, doesn't it? All right. Let's let it settle. Okay. All right, can you see the two? Separated. Now, let's take some food coloring. We're going to use blue. Now, let's see what happens with the blue food coloring. Food coloring has density also because it's a liquid. Is it going to just float to the bottom? Is it going to stay on top? Let's see what happens. We want to put about, let's see. One. Look how it floats to the bottom. So far I've put eight in there. Look at that. Now it appears the food coloring is just sitting there in between the oil and the water, doesn't it? Because of the density of the food coloring. Next, we're going to take our Alka-Seltzer. Remember we used Alka-Seltzer before in um, Pop and Fizz experiment? If you have not seen that experiment, I'm going to put an iCard up here at the top so you can click that button and watch that experiment when we're through. Now, remember Alka-Seltzer uh, is made of aspirin, sodium bicarbonate, and citric acid. And when the sodium bicarbonate and the citric acid uh, react together, they make a chemical reaction in the water. And that's when you begin to see carbon dioxide or CO2 form from those reactants. Let's test. Oh, look at the bubbles. There we go. Can you see it? Let's try another one. Amazing. Let's do another piece. This is exciting. Now, the bubbles are formed because of the uh, sodium bicarbonate and the citric act acid reacting to each other in the water, and now the bubbles are less dense and begin to float. Oh, I'll put another one in there. Another couple of pieces. All right, if you try this at home, please leave me a comment below because I want to know how did your lava lamp turn out? What would happen if we put the top on? Would it continue or not? Let's test that out. We'll put this lid on. But let's look and see. Oh, look at that. Let's make sure I bring it down. That is awesome. And so now we have a lava lamp. So we have our lava lamp. So let's go over again. How does this work? Remember, water has more density than oil. Food coloring has about the same density as water. 
Now, when we put the Alka-Seltzer inside, dropped inside of the container, the Alka-Seltzer began to form gas and gas is lighter than the oil. And so we began to have a chemical reaction and it began to form these bubbles because of what's in the Alka-Seltzer, which is sodium bicarbonate and citric acid. And when those two reacted together from the water, it formed gas or the bubbles that we see. And when the bubbles were formed, it was the color of the food coloring. I hope you enjoyed this experiment and I hope you try this at home. If you do, please leave me a comment and tell me about your experience. If you have any questions, put them in the comment box below. Also remember to like this video so others can watch it also. Thank you for joining me today and look for the next video the following Saturday. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. See you next time.